Today, I wanna to give you five benefits of growing Austrian winter peas as a cover crop on your farm. Stick around for the sixth benefit that I'll show you at the end of this video, and it is by far my favorite. I'm Rob from Dowdle Family Farms, and I've been growing Austrian winter peas now for almost five years, and it has been a great crop for us in very specific circumstances. Let's discuss a little bit about Austrian winter peas and their growth habit and what you can expect out of it. Here in my area of North Mississippi, we plant it in the fall, it grows over winter, and then it grows well in the spring. It puts on most of its growth in the spring. Our falls tend to be really dry. Here in November of 2023, we've had hardly any rain at all since July. It is dry, dry, dry. We do have a few acres that we've planted that we irrigate from our ponds for livestock feed, but for the most part, Austrian winter peas in our area grow really well on those cooler fall evenings, assuming that we have enough soil moisture. They survive our winters, which get down into the teens for a day or two at most occasionally, uh, but typically we have warm winters, mild winters, and they grow really well throughout the winters. Where they put on most of their growth is in the spring. So because of that, uh, Austrian winter peas are not the kind of crop that you're going to put out uh, and then graze it, let it regrow, graze it, regrow, and graze it. It's kind of a plant it, and then you can graze it in the spring. Uh, the first key benefit of Austrian winter peas, it's an outstanding uh, forage for pigs especially, but also for other livestock. We put our pigs on the Austrian winter peas. They perform really well. In terms of nutrition, Austrian winter peas uh, only has about 17 or 18 percent uh, protein in terms of its forage, but it's the highest benefit is about 6.6 percent of that protein is actually lysine, one of the amino acids that make up proteins, uh, and uh, lysine tends to be the limiting factor for pigs on vegetarian diets. So we really like Austrian winter peas because it's high in lysine, especially when it's high in protein as well. If you're gonna graze pigs on Austrian winter peas, it's best if you do it just as it's starting to bloom. The reason for that is as the seed is formed in the pods, um, the forage gets much uh, coarser and it's harder for pigs to digest. Yes, you get peas and peas are great for livestock forage as well. But uh, for me, there's more value in the forage as a whole rather, and so I'm gonna try to graze it uh, while it's at that early bloom stage. When I put cows on the Austrian winter peas a couple years ago, I noticed they tended to trample the peas more. It was an almost pure stand of the cover crop, so I'm not sure uh, if we might be able to get better foraging value out of it if we mixed it with a small grain. But um, I've noticed that pigs tend to get much more uh, nutrition out of the Austrian winter peas. And for me, pig nutrition is by far one of the most important reasons to graze it. The second benefit of Austrian winter peas is it's a really great crop. It's winter hardy in my area. Um, if you have a lot of long days, like of 18 degrees or so, uh, with no snow cover, then Austrian winter peas can die. Uh, we've never had it die before, but we've only been growing it for four or five years. Just know uh, that in South Mississippi, it's a great crop. Uh, I know of some producers in uh, the northern parts of the United States that grow it in the summer and have really good luck as well. So it's a great winter hardy cover crop. It grows really well in my area. It survives the winter. And I really like that about it. It's one of those crops that we can plant a lot of and then put livestock in it in the spring, have a lot of great spring forage for them uh, to finish out our pigs. For example, we'll have some feeder pigs that'll be born in uh, February or so. By the time they're weaned, it'll be time to put them into pastures. And we should have a couple acres of Austrian winter peas that we can put those feeder pigs in after they're weaned and they should perform really, really well on them. So it works out really well in our forage system. The third benefit is it is a great cover crop for nitrogen fixation. Uh, most of the nitrogen fixation uh, occurs as it's in the flowering stage. According to estimates that I read, uh, you can, can get up to 150 pounds of nitrogen credits per acre uh, for a pure stand of Austrian winter peas, that's diluted down if you mix it with a cereal grain. 
Of course, it can work as a great mulch or green manure on the soil surface. Uh, on pure stands, they tend to break down pretty quickly. Uh, and so it tends to be just a really good cover crop that people use. Uh, the fourth thing that I really like about Austrian winter peas is it's incredibly easy to plant. So typically for a larger seeded cover crop like Austrian winter peas, we would have to lightly disc the seed over in the soil. But what I've found on this particular area right here, I've got it in a mix with a bunch of different brassicas, purple top turnips, daikon radish, dwarf Essex rape. I also have some clovers and then some small cereal grains in here as well. But when I planted this cover crop, I had hybrid pearl millet in here. The pigs grazed it. They ate a lot of the hybrid pearl millet. They trampled a lot of it. If you look carefully, you can still see a few strands of where the hybrid pearl millet regrew. But what I did is I broadcast the seed, I moved the pigs off of it, and then I flail mowed this paddock. There was just enough of that warm season cover crop that was kind of dry, it was in the heat of the summer, that uh, when I flail mowed it, it provided just enough of a mulch for the brassicas, the clovers, and especially the Austrian winter peas to grow. For small producers like me who don't quite have access to no-till equipment yet, uh, the ability to be able to plant no-till without no-till drills is huge. So by flail mowing this, I was able to plant the cover crop that I have out here. I was able to use the Austrian winter peas along with many other crops, and so it made it much, much easier to plant. Those are the kind of crops I want to be able to plant that don't take a whole lot of specialty equipment. The fifth reason that I love growing Austrian winter peas is that uh, it works really well in mixes. As I've already said, we've got uh, purple top turnips, daikon radishes, and many other things in here. Uh, a lot of people plant Austrian winter peas with uh, small grains like oats or cereal rye. Um, and then some people will mix daikon radish and Austrian winter peas as well. So Austrian winter peas do work as a pretty good uh, uh, legume for your cover crop mixes, but do know that if you're planning on nitrogen credits for cash crops following that, that you need to be a little bit more careful about what you're gonna plant with that so that it decomposes quickly to provide your nitrogen credits. I don't worry so much about nitrogen credits, uh, because for pasture-based systems, it's just not important for me to get the, the nitrogen use out of a field that a row crop farmer might have with corn or milo. For wildlife enthusiasts, Austrian winter peas are great for wildlife as well. Now, I mentioned a sixth reason that I love growing Austrian winter peas, and that's because I enjoy eating it straight out of the field. It has a great pea flavor. They're very sweet. I enjoy it with the dwarf Essex rape. It makes a great little snack while I'm out in the field. I hope you'll give Austrian winter peas a try. I really enjoyed growing this crop over the years. It's not my main cool season crop, but I do enjoy having it in a mix. It performs really well on our farm and it adds a lot of diverse nutrient-rich feed for our pigs especially. Take care. Have a great day.